Welcome to this short explainer on calculating percent error. Alright, to calculate percent error, we're going to take the experimental value minus the accepted value, and then divide by the accepted value. Then we're going to times that all by 100% in order to change our decimal to a percent. In slang, and to help you remember this, think of it this way. You take your answer minus the real answer, then divide by the real answer, and then times it by 100%. All right, let's do a for example. A student calculates the density of an object to be 1.40 grams per milliliter. The accepted value is 1.30. What is the percent error? All right, instead of me rewriting the whole formula, which is good practice, we're going to use this formula. We're going to plug in the numbers. So our percent error is going to be equal to the experimental value, which is right here, 1.40. We're going to subtract off the accepted value right here, 1.30. Divide by the accepted value, 1.30. And then times all that by 100%. All right, plug that into the calculator, and you should get a number that is equal to 7.7. .7 percent. And that is how you calculate percent error.